Lin-Manuel Miranda, the dude who wrote all this music for Encanto, which I didn't know until my comment section decided to rip me apart in this video. I just thought it was a super good song. It's very well done. And you know what? I didn't know that this dude's discography was insanely huge. Surface Pressure is currently my favorite Disney song. It is so good. And the one before that was literally How Far I'll Go from Moana. And little did I know before my comment section ripped me up, Lin-Manuel Miranda wrote that song too? I think I'm actually going to watch the Elisa Cara version. I, I know it's like the same thing. I really liked both versions. I don't really remember them like super well or like which version is which but i'm gonna click on the elisa car version it's got like 268 freaking million views which is absolutely absurd this time i'm gonna listen to this from the perspective of how much i think lynn is an absolute beast so let's get right into it i mean you guys can't lie like how far i'll go is so well done and i just cannot believe like it blows my mind that one dude wrote like all these songs like how is that even possible i it just makes no sense we're gonna hit this in three two one go and honestly dude this is like my favorite song from moana no joke and this is like half music video isn't it big ups to the uh girl who actually sang this who didn't have like that much singing practice is that was that how it was but i mean i'm a, I'm a fan of elisa cara elisa cara i think she's really good written by lynn manuel miranda how does he write music for like different cultures man it makes no sense. He must do his research, man. All right. This song's lit, and you, dude, you guys are lying if you don't think it is. Oh my gosh! In with the bass. Let's go. And just like his lyrical placement is also so well done. Oh my gosh. And then like the hyped up pre-chorus again. Oh my gosh. Oh wait, this is the actual chorus, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> and then right here. It's so well done. Yo. Oh my goodness, you guys. I'm definitely going to go on a limb and say that Lynn has definitely outdone himself, or Lynn Miranda. I don't know. It's just like, that is how, how he prefers it to be. I don't freaking know. Lynn Miranda has really outdone himself with Encanto. Just like everything he did, I was very impressed with. Now listening to it back, all of his songs, I just, I personally can't believe all of these songs were written by one person. It's just, it does, it blows my absolute mind. And I really don't mean to discredit Lisa in any way. I think she's a terrific vocalist, absolutely terrific. But I seriously think that, geez, that the, the freaking genius behind the wheel behind the curtain is man he is an absolute legend like how does he even write music for different cultures i mean disney is all about different countries different cultures and kind of like expressing those through their movies through that whatever you know and 
this dude must do so much research because he incorporates, you know, like the local style of music. He incorporates the local instrument music, the, the, the local instruments like th this song is clearly more like Pacific Island, you know, type music. You know, they use more like drums and things like that. And I totally hear that to where in Kanto, you know, they have like accordions and more of like that kind of vibe flutes and whatnot. I just, I, <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. I don't even think I would be capable of even writing one part of any of these songs, let alone, I mean, the lyrical density is so good. His lyrical placement is absolutely genius. The fact that he can write all this stuff blows my freaking mind. And you know what, dude, how far I go is still a absolute banger. It's so good. And I st it's still going to be probably like one of my favorite Disney movie songs ever. So thank you guys so much for joining me. We'll catch you on the next video.